Hey guys, Kate here. In this week's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about what is growth-driven design. Uh, for a long time, primitive practice, just the traditional website design and development process, and stated simply, the, the traditional process is um, we'd sit down with the client, we'd try it within a 30 minute to an hour long meeting to gather everything that was important to the client, the client's goals and objectives, things they liked and disliked about their current site, um, and we try to pull all of that out of them in one meeting. We didn't give them a proposal and we would just hope um, that we had the right price and the right timeline based on what the information the client was able to give us in one simple meeting. And after doing it that way for years and years, it just didn't work for us anymore. Number one, we don't think it was that great for the client. We think it's unfair for a client to have to know everything about their business, uh, both present and future state in one meeting that would inform the future design and development of their site. And then it wasn't fair to our team because what would happen naturally is we'd get months into a project and then some new thing would happen within a client's business, which is very normal. Um, and all the work we had done for months and months now wasn't relevant to where the business was. And so it just, it, it would really interrupt the project. Uh, projects start to, to linger, they go over budget, and it just really wasn't a good, um, it wasn't a good a process or way of doing things either for the business, which is very important, or for our team. And so um, what we did is we adopted this new model that we call growth driven design. And for uh, Primitive, this is what it really means. And this is the value of growth driven design in case you're considering uh, building a new website. First of all, is that there's more obvious progress. Again, almost 10 years into this, one of the things I've noticed and observed about clients uh, and working with different clients is the thing that frustrates them the most is just how much time it takes to design and develop a new site. They're excited about it, they've made this investment, and they wanna see progress. And when they don't see progress, they can start to get really frustrated. One of the benefits of growth-driven design is that you see more immediate process almost immediately. Uh, depending on the project, it varies from client to client, but generally speaking, within 60 to 90 days of working with the project, Primitive has launched what we call a really robust launch pad, and it's typically a, a more um, advanced version of your existing homepage, but with better design, more intentionality, and more aligned with your goals and objectives. But that's one of the values of growth-driven design, is more obvious and immediate prog uh, pro uh, progress. The second valuable thing about it is that it's adaptable to the fast, uh, fast changing needs of the business. Every business is always evolving and changing. And one of the things I like about growth driven design is that the, the process allows for the, the natural changes that go with, on within a business. So instead of sitting down in one meeting, having to you know everything that's important to your business in that moment, um, now, uh, the process allows for the changes and the things that come up within your business. So because we, after the launch pad, we work on monthly sprints, it, it allows your priorities to change. So if something happens within your business and you need to prioritize that within the design and development of your site, the process is more adaptable to that and therefore you know, better for the customer. The other thing I really love uh, about uh, growth driven design, and, and this is a definite valuable uh, aspect about the process, is that you see continual and ongoing um, improvement informed by data. So six, seven, eight months into a project, we've had Google Analytics and Hotjar and other website tools on the website for six, seven, eight months now. Now we can start looking at that data and really trying to make informed decisions based on what the actual consumer or the customer of our client is doing, right? Something that, that maybe none of us knew was important or whatever, if the data starts to tell a consistent uh, story, we can pay attention to that and make sure that we're considering that as the site continues to progress and we continue to build it out. The fourth thing that I think is really valuable about growth driven design is it truly is a way to stay ahead of your competitor. I mean, 90 plus percent, if not higher, of all businesses build a website and then it stays inactive for months and months and months, if not years. And we've worked with some clients who haven't touched their website in 10 plus years. And the fact of the matter is, the reality for most businesses is that's the case. They invest in a website, they launch it, and then it sits there for two, three, four years. And, and um, it just gets out of date really fast based on how quickly things change. And so one of the advantages of growth-driven design is you stay ahead of your competitor. 
the essence or the nature of growth-driven design is constant iteration and improvement. And so if you really commit as an organization to growth, the growth-driven design model, your site is always improving based on the change within your business and even more important, what's important to your customer and therefore it's always iterating, it's always evolving, it's always improving. Um, unlike most of your competitors who launched a website and haven't thought about it since, uh, because they 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 just let it sit there, and uh, that's not that's not good. And so, if you embrace the growth driven design model, um, you can kind of work through that and pass that. The last thing is is that what we've noticed about the customers that we have is that they love to spread out the investment. So one of the value and really practical aspects of growth driven design, instead of the traditional model where you, you have a heavy investment up front and then you wait six to nine months for your project to launch, um, in the growth driven design model, it's a, month, it's, a monthly, uh, it's a monthly retainer and your investment for your website is spread out over time. And that's really practical, but it is something that we've noticed that our customers really enjoy. Instead of writing a big check up front, it's something they can, they can spread out and it makes it, it makes it more attainable. Um, the last thing that I would say about growth driven design and the value of growth driven design is it perfectly pairs with ongoing content marketing. It doesn't matter what your business is, uh, big or small, uh, B2B or B2C, you have to have a content marketing strategy. You have to think about um, your content strategy, your social and your blogging and your SEO and your website, and you have to think about those things. Now, whether you partner with a, with a digital marketing agency or whether you do that internally, um, that's entirely up to you. But the fact of the matter is, in the 21st century, every business has to understand and identify what is your unique content marketing strategy. And the thing that I like about Growth Driven Design is it perfectly pairs with a content marketing strategy. Your content marketing strategy is always changing, it's always evolving, it's always evaluating the data, it's always evaluating your goals and adapting around those things. And that's exactly how Growth Driven Design should work. And so when your website, which is really the core, the foundations, the nucleus of all of your content marketing, when those two things are working in tandem, it's a really powerful combination. So um, if you're considering uh, designing and developing a new website, I would encourage you to think through this and, and think how this would benefit your business and how it's really different than the old and traditional way of doing it. Mm -hmm.